Hi everyone. This video is a little bit more advanced about how to insert an image into a show work problem where we can insert multiple pages and enlarge them, like resize them. But first I want to start with some techniques in the creation of the actual homework itself. So what would be really good is if you can write with a dark writing instrument. Now I have here to write with a dark pen, but really you could use an artist's uh, pencil or a drafting pencil with a heavy charcoal. That's probably actually even better because then you can use an eraser and erase your work. Um, but in any case, something that's dark so I can see it more easily. If you do write in pen, then please get some correction tape because really you shouldn't be handing anything in that's got scratched out work. It's, it's just very hard to grade. Um, so just erase it, so to speak. You know, using correction tape or use like a heavier pencil lead and just use a regular eraser. And then please just take a picture of only the work. So some of you are including quite a bit of background. Try to include as little background as possible and just zoom in on the, on the paper. And number four is extremely important. Uh, go to the settings on your camera and set the resolution to no higher than 640 over 640 by 480. That's going to be very important so that you don't get an error message that says, oh, the file, so the file sizes are too large and you, you know, you can't insert. Okay. So now what you're going to see when you go into homework, and I'll show you this, we're going to go through um, what you need to do for this homework assignment, but you're going to have to go into document sharing. So let's go there just so you can see, and this is where I'm housing an awful lot of practice exercises and things like that. So here you have chapter five, and that's what we're working on. So go ahead and this is, you know, a category. And then what, when you click on chap on this chapter five, you're going to find files that are here that are available. And so essentially what you have, here's your homework assignment that you're going to hand in. This is what you're going to click on and you're going to download it and print it out and then do your work. And then you're going to insert that into the show work problem. But these are available, uh, a practice exercise and then solutions for that practice exercise and then extra, extra practice exercises. These are really good with solutions for that. All right. All this is to help you practice so that you can do real well in this. And remember, all of this information on about the normal curve is going to be through, prevalent throughout the entire semester. So you really want to get good at that. All right. So let's go to our homework. And find our homework. Here we go. Normal curve calculations. There's my question. Okay. Now, uh, let me expand this somewhat, but I don't want to get outside of the viewing screen for the screen capture. All right. So you really, so here you go, go to document sharing. This is where it shows you where to find and, and also some instructions. Make sure you read those carefully. Now for in general, all show work problems, some of you are forgetting this first part here to click on the radio button. Make sure you click on that because essentially what this is is a multiple choice problem with all the other options deleted. So if you don't select this, it it is impossible for it to submit. All right, then you're going to go to the show work button, which is right here. And then I would not use a pen. I'd go ahead and upload an image, which is what we're going to focus on. And then you're going to click save, which is on that page that opens up when you press on this show work button. And then you're going to press on final check, which is here. And this save, the last step is this one here up in the right upper right hand corner. All right. So we've already clicked on the right on the radio button. Now we're going to do the show work right here. Now this opens up and what I want to do is insert an image. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to put in three pages. Here's page one. Sorry, I didn't select rule. <laughs> so there it is. Now, um, what I'm going to do is use this selector button right here. And I'm going to select my image. And you see that diamond cross? When I move that, right, see that border show up with the little dotted lines? That allows me, so I know I've selected this, and I'm going to move this up into the left upper corner here. And that makes this visible, this right-hand corner with the three little dots here like in a triangle. This allows me to drag and make this bigger. Okay, 
So I can drag this and make it bigger. All right. And now I can center it. Let me make it even bigger. It's got the room. <laughs> All right. So I probably could have taken a better picture, but this is really small writing. So you can definitely not be able to read your writing. All right. So there we are. Now, one thing I want to mention is um, if I move it down a little bit, I'll see that I can scroll. Okay. But notice I'm only able to see part of the page. I can't see the whole page. The only way you can see the whole page is to move the page down because the way this is set up to create space, as it were, you have to select it and move it all the way down. Okay. Now watch what happens. See, now I can see everything. So you have to move it all the way down to create space. Now, what I want to do is I want to really move it down even more. Okay. Because Oh, now I'm gonna, I actually wanted to move it way down because I'm going to... Now, did you see that? I moved all the way down here and I had it selected. So I have to select it and then kind of move up. All the motion happens right within this viewing window. So let's move it down, move it down. Okay. Now I've created a lot of space and I'm going to insert another page. I think it was page two. All right, there we are. Now I'm going to move it up just so I can find this triangle, really. Okay. And let's see, is that big? I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. That's pretty big. Okay. So now I'm going to move it down because remember, that's how I create space. Because if I, right now, if I just scroll up, that's it. I'm blocked. So I have to move it down and move it on top of that. Now, look, see, I can see it. Okay, so all the space that's created is only when you move everything down. Now, I don't have enough room, really, and I'm not going to have enough room to insert, so I'm going to move both of these down some more. So I'm going to select it, move down, move down, move down. But notice I'm moving down within here. As soon as I pass this, I can't work with it. So here, select it, move down, move down, move down. Okay, and... Center it on top. Oh, that's looking good, isn't it? And now I'm going to select the last image is going to be the page that you're going to download and print out so you can see what it looks like. There it is. Okay. So again, the only reason I have to move it up or, or basically I can move down and see this. Okay. Once I click on it, this appears, right? So it's selected, but I clicked on it and now this appears here in the bottom right hand corner and I can make it bigger. So do you see how much bigger I can make it? Look at that. All right. So now, now notice, see, I can't see the top of that. So what do I have to do? I have to move it down. And I may have to move all of them down a little bit. Well, no. Okay. In that case, I can see the top, so it's fine. But if I couldn't, I'd have to move all of them down and then move this top one down so I could see everything. Now, the last check that you have to do is make sure you can scroll and see everything. Because if you can't see it, I can't see it. And I can't grade it. Okay. All right, so we're good. Now we've got everything in. Now remember, third, see now the fourth step we've inserted, third step was insertion, fourth is click on save. That's this save right here. That's part of this insertion. So we're gonna save it. Then step five, final check. Tells me yay, fantastic, well done. And then six, save in the upper right hand corner. There you go, and there you are, okay? So that's basically how you can insert all these and resize, all right? Thanks for listening.